All right, guys, we just joined the game. We are in a 4v5. We are down 80 points. And just like my CDO match earlier versus London, we are getting completely... I don't know if you guys watched the CDO at all, but we lost to London. And we basically, one of our teammates, like, lagged out, lagged out mid-map. And we couldn't replay the map, even though we were up. It was a very bullshit situation for us, but... Well, what are you going to do? Uh, well, some of the stressful... This has been one of the most stressful years of my COD career ever. And trust me when I say this, guys. I have had a lot of stressful years and bad years. And now we're just trying to make the best out of the worst. Currently play some St. Petro. Maybe I have a chance on actually winning this map. Because, you know... Didn't really have a chance in my CDO match today. And I've been trying to keep my frustrations off social media because they've been dealing with stuff very poorly the past, like, couple of months or so, ever since the league started. And I haven't really seen much, but today, I kind of blew up on Twitter. I just kind of had enough. I couldn't handle it anymore, man. Like, this is my livelihood. This is my job. This is my passion. Like, I put in time every day. I put in a lot of time all day, every year, all the months, every week. I put in so much time and effort in this for it to all just kind of get taken away like that. It's just very, very infuriating. Oh, that's a name. And I have six bullets with the best MP5. But enough of that. I don't want to sit here and talk about this horrible um, situation I'm in. And you know how the league is a little bit uh, poorly ran at the moment. Right now, today, in this video, we are running my new MP5 class. It's a class I've been running for the past couple days, and it's a class a lot of people might have been seeing me using on streams and things like that, and they're just double watching the back door. You got to respect the passion. Well, bang. So, to keep you guys up with the new, because some of you guys not might be uh, updated or with the new at all, um, 10mm, which is the 10mm conversion ammo on the MP5, uh, used to be GA'd, and my teammate's team shooting me because he is annoying. It used to be GA'd. And now, you know what? We're going to ignore him. We're not giving him any attention. So the 10MM was gentlemen by pro players because it was essentially very strong and very broken. And now it's not. Our M4 is still amazing and some of the best guns in the game. They are very much still, um, especially on 60 Hertz, M4s are still very dominant. But it just makes the sub a little bit, I don't know how you say it, a little bit more fair. Because the M4 was way too dominant. Yeah, the sub was still really good close up. Oh, you could definitely give it that. But overall, the M4 was just actually incredible. There's the guy. Is he top blue? I'm going to say he's top blue. Yes, there he is. He's got mid What is he doing? He's just cr... He's just, he's just staying crouching, bro. I just don't get it, bro. Gonna kill you. Kill my teammate. Gonna snap on you. And this is a class a lot of players... Uh, actually, let's not even go there yet. Let's talk about 10MM kind of being back. Um, 10MM is... I'm happy it's back because it makes the guns more fair. Um, I think the M4 was just way too dominant. A little too broken for my liking. And you know me. I like things to be kind of fair. Like, I don't want the sub or the MP5 to be, like, incredibly overpowered when it was once was. Obviously, 10MM received some nerfs. Um, the MP5 received a little bit nerfed. And I think, like, that was good enough, you know? So after an event filled with M4s, and I was explaining this in my previous couple videos, how M4 was very dominant. It was the best gun in the game. You saw three to four M4s every map. Like, it was that good that people were basically running so many of them because the MP5, it, just, it, it was no, there was no point of running MP5. And now we're here. Um, you do see more MP5s in the game. You do see... You know, not lobbies full of M4s because the MP5 10MM is back, baby. Now, with 10MM being back, uh, two problems occur here. Uh, one, 10MM does add more recoil. I would have killed them if I was reloaded, by the way. And obviously, no stock or collapsible. MP5 is called collapsible. Adds recoil as well. So, you have so many things adding recoil to this gun. And you need to control that recoil. It's so bad. It's not before how you can just use one grip and you know the recoil is easily, be, like you're able to easily control it. It's, well, it's not like that anymore. In this specific class, a lot, of, a lot of pro players have been using it and actually liking it. And I myself like it a lot as well. Um, 
This is kind of like an ideal MP5 class, kind of a balance of everything. I've been using it in matches, I've been using it in practice and scrims, and I find this one really, really comfortable. Some people are even using the no the collapsible or not the collapsible, the close quarter stock, which it's nice, but like close quarter stock, you really want to be that slow. Like you can beam people like really bad, but you're so slow because you lose so much movement speed, man. The collapsible, the no stock, whatever you want to call it, gives you so much movement speed and it's just you're faster on the map, man. You're faster. I'm gonna stop shooting that guy. Well, actually, I did stop shooting that guy. That's a nice little comeback. We could have done something like this to London. Good work. It's all good. GG's. So we do got some Ramaza hardpoint, and I am a big fan of this map, but at the same time, not really. And I think it's part of it's because my team, they don't really like this map, man. And it's all because of this break right here. Horrible break. I do get one. We got five people spawn a team. I'm going to go push up. Teammate seems to be pushing. I'm going to be pushing with my favorite MP5 class that can't be stopped. I said I can't be stopped because they can't be stopped. I said I can't be stopped. Okay, we'll stop. So this is an interesting MP5 class because this is the first time that my class does not have stippled. Now, stippled is a very good attachment. Um, you kind of want stippled because of the sprint to fire speed. So it's kind of weird not having it, but in this scenario right now, the you know scenario at hand, you kind of kind of you kind of gotta deal with what you have. And unfortunately, a situation like this, like it's kind of what I gotta deal with, right? Sprint to fire speed is obviously important, but when it comes to slide canceling, it doesn't actually... Ah! Sprint to fire speed is important, but when it comes to slide canceling, slide canceling kind of negates the sprint to fire speed. So you're not always worried about it. Um, but like, like I said, it is important though. You do want to have some decent sprint to fire speed. But as long as you slide cancel almost everything, um, you're pretty much still in a very good spot. You don't have to worry too much about the sprint to fire speed. You know when I maneuver around the map, I'm constantly slide canceling. Uh, if you watch pro players, we slide cancel all the time. Uh, constantly slide canceling every second. And it's a big reason why it doesn't affect it too much, if you know what I'm saying. So as always, you guys know, I put the, the class at the end of the video. Um, check out this class. I will probably give you guys some tips on another class that some pro players have been using. But a lot of the top players and, and good teams have been running this class. And uh, there's one other similar class that people have been running I can show you. But this is like a class a lot of people like. And for good reason, man. This class, like, I don't know if you're noticing what I'm doing right now. Oh, my God. I was one bullet away from killing this guy. Let's actually watch this real quick. Oh, he was so weak. He is. The screen was even grayed. But every time I show you guys classes, I like to show you guys, like, an extra class or two. Because I like really going in depth and showing you guys that... You know, spreading the, spreading the knowledge with you guys, giving you guys other options, other ideas, of course, if you end up not liking this class or you would like to try something different. You know, the options are always there for you, man. I do appreciate you guys, as always, watching my videos. He's going to chow me out and I'm going to drop shot him. Uh, always don't forget, guys, to like the video, man. I say this almost every video because I can't thank you guys enough. A lot of my videos are pretty much every video lately has been getting like a thousand likes minimum. And that's awesome, man. I'm, I'm really happy about that. I'm really, like, happy about the support you guys give me. And it, it does mean a lot to me, man. So thank you guys for the, the continued support, continued love. You know, I'm going to keep trying to grind the channel when I can. And, you know, hopefully we can keep growing and keep expanding the app pack. I don't I don't know. It's, it's kind of what I used to call my Twitch subs. <laughs> Oh my god, he's on me and he's dead. And for the people that are wondering why I was very angry for, uh, against the London match, and we basically got kind of, uh, we basically got forfeited on fourth map because our teammate liked out when it was his internet provider randomly disconnecting his internet and nothing he can really do about that. That was just really unfortunate. But we got forfeited for the fourth map, for map four, and basically made us lose the match because we're already down 1-2. And what really, really pisses me off is it was a fair playing field. That should have been a replay and with someone with common sense. And, you know, I get it. Rules are rules. And you don't want to break the rules and, you know, favor one player or, or one person. But at the end of the day, man, I feel like you got to use some common sense. I feel like at some times, especially being an online lead league, like you should be able to bend the rule a little bit if it makes sense. Obviously, if, we're, if we were down 100 points and they had four rotation XL, it was literally like, a super advantage on their side and yeah it doesn't make sense to replay it but we were literally up 20 points 
it was the third it was going into the third hill of the game it was still on the second hill and they basically said you know what we don't care you're forfeiting the map nice okay hi <laughs> i'd screw out up there bro and what aggravates me more man you know I, we've had a, such a shitty year as a team you know losing matches dumb stuff happening to us where it was out of our control and i just been really going hard practicing i've been really putting my best foot forward and trying to be a better player and a better teammate and and going harder in every single aspect whether it's watching vod sometimes uh putting in more time putting in more effort and really caring a lot you know to improve as a team and get better and for us to just lose like that especially with the amount of time i've been putting is just very very infuriating and it's really it just i just i was so upset man i was so upset that this this is what, how it kind of went down how everything kind of you know how it all happened man like i literally have like i mentioned in my previous video you, you know i have a new daughter she's three months old i do like to spend time with her but i've been you know obviously grinding a little more sometimes putting a little bit more time into like competing and trying to get better because of this sh shitty situation we are as a team and that could be time i could be like spending with my daughter or spending with my wife and you know actually enjoying those times together but here i am like grinding putting in more time and then for them to just say you know what it was out of your hand but it's technically your fault and we're just gonna forfeit you math for like nice like awesome dude doesn't make sense 20 and 13 with this class you gotta respect it let's uh let's go let's go to the class setup now shall we so this is my secret mp5 class well it's not much of a secret but this is a class that a lot of pro players have been loving and using uh this just has the perfect combination obviously you're missing the stip bolt and stip bolt can be a little bit beneficial in like some random gunfights but if you're slide canceling all the time like most pros do uh the sprint to fire speed doesn't really come in effect so it's not as big of a deal but I do got the muzzle break operator combo. It, it was it's such a great combo. I was using this before 10mm was introduced back into you know the, into the competitive level where pros kind of agreed not to use it. Uh, before my class was looking exactly like this. Uh, but I've tried everything, man. I tried rust running only operator. I've tried it. It's just, it's so inconsistent. The recoil is so bad. Like you can hit shots every now and then, or sometimes your shots will shoot fine and then it'll start recalling really bad. It's just hard to. Like kind of control that pattern and consistently hit good shots and you never want to have inconsistent gameplay right you want to have your gameplay going smooth and kind of like be able to shoot like crisp shots almost every time so this is a class i've been really really loving this class man i i think it's amazing uh if you want a little bit more ads speed you could change it to ranger foregrip instead um uh, but i think this is the perfect class if you're trying to have good obviously recoil control have the 10 mm in place I feel like sleight of hand is so important, especially in hard point and just respawn in general. And you just lose the stippled, which is a little annoying, but you really get a hang of it. Like I said, if you're slight canceling a lot. Now, if you want, you can just run operator and stippled. This is basically was the old class that most pros used to use uh, before basically 10mm got uh, GA'd. And then you could run, or before 10mm even got nerfed. And then you could run, uh, some people have been trying to rub rise grip tape as well. So this is another way of having decent recoil control. You lose stippled again, but you get some more recoil control and you, you basically don't run muzzle. So this has like, I think slightly faster ADS time. Um, and it's very similar to the muzzle break operator combo. I think the muzzle break operator combo just has that really good recoil control. Like, uh, it's just, it, I feels more comfortable. This still has a little bit of a bounce jump to it. This is a class ran by very few people. And the reason is the close quarter stock just has a lot less movement speed. Collapsible gives you a huge boost in movement speed. It feels really good when you're running around on the map, but close quarter stock has almost no recoil. It's so easy to control. You can beam people from pretty far and you get to run stippled still. So, and you can run operator or ranger. Uh, I think these are the two best attachments with this. Uh, but this is another class i personally think if you're a main sub if you if you're fast if you want to get into action if you want to get better positioning at times or be able to push someone very quickly uh, i think this class is the or the collapsible stock is the best uh this class is better for like a flex player or if you're really having trouble with the recoil control then you can run this class as well whatever you like man it's options at the end of the day but i think the first one i showed you is the best as always guys appreciate you man thank you all for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have it gonna try my do a little my best gonna try to do my best my best i will do i would try to do my best um to make better content for you guys 
it's been kind of hard obviously with grinding like i said before and trying to find new things to make and new videos to make uh you know we're almost at the end of the year i've made so many videos and so many ideas so it's kind of hard if you guys have any ideas or any videos you'd like me to make leave it down in the comments below i'll definitely give it a read to see what you guys come up with and yeah hope you guys all have a wonderful day night morning whenever you watch this video and i'll see you guys next time peace out like the video please it helps a lot